Hello and welcome to Newcastle Studios in Braddon. My name's Chris Kimball. This is Capital Inc. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing. Well, Canberra's Nick Kyrgios, he's probably drawn as much attention for what he's been saying on the court as much as his actions on the court in his short tennis career. Is he an athlete that Canberra should be proud of? You know, like I think that there is a difference between being excellent on the court and being excellent as a human, you know, and what do we, what do we as humans measure our success by? He's still a very young guy with a lot to learn, but I think also that showmanship is probably something that we as a public actually really embrace to a degree. Um, and I think those kind of qualities are also forgiven a lot more in, in other sports. The, the level of outrage that we've seen from the public and from some sectors of the, of the media is a little bit disproportionate to what he's actually done. There are athletes in Australia that have done far worse things mm. than Nick Kyrgios has ever done, but we've forgiven them. I think the trouble yeah, is he yeah. is a role model. He might not want to be a role model and he yeah. certainly doesn't want the expectation from it, but he is a role model and young um, kids, particularly ones with an aptitude for tennis, are going to be looking at him and saying that's how I'm going to be and we don't like that. And that's, I think, where the Nick Kyrgios problem comes in is that he is an inspiration to kids. As a tennis player, you're an individual. You're not representing a team. You're not signed a contract with, with a club to represent the club. There's no code of conduct that goes with that. When you become an Olympian, there's this sort of your yeah, part of that of the ball team. Game. Right? Oh, so yeah. this is where we're hitting that, that mm -hmm. point of tension, yeah. isn't it? Just wondering if there's a little bit more to it than just his behaviour. I don't want to be the guy that puts his hand up for this, but I'm going to. Good. Yeah. All right. Um, he doesn't fit the aesthetic of what we expect. He doesn't fit the narrative of what we expect our Australian sports people to look like or act like. Or, you know, he's got a bit of a swagger. He's a little bit brown. And we're just kind of... We just kind of can't get our heads around it. Maybe as Canberrans, rather than deciding whether we like or dislike him, we need to think differently and ask, how do we help? Maybe he doesn't need us to love him and care about him. Yeah, he's got a lot. He's got 225,000 people uh, liking his Facebook page. He's got 175,000 people following him on Twitter. A lot of those people aren't even Australian. Tennis is like that. He won't always have those many followers. And he won't always have that success. Mm. There will come a day when he walks down the street and everyone's really embarrassed by him and doesn't want to be his friend anymore. Will he feel proud? Well, if he has a gold medal around his neck later this year at Rio, Canberra's Nick Kyrgios all the way. Tell us what you think. Are we putting too much pressure on Nick Kyrgios? Are we projecting uh, onto him? Are we setting him, judging him by a different standard to what we judge other athletes? Tell us what you think here on Capital Link. Get involved, like it, share it. It's your program, it's your city. Thanks for watching.